Uh, the invite. That, Adam, that's me inviting you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was waiting for the invite. I am doing. You you kept declining it. I was in another menu. So it probably auto declined. Why is oh, this pure blooded? blooded? And why is he dancing? Uh, he's a random. He's a random marauder. I said we shoot him. You have fun with that. <laughs> 20... <laughs> it's a level twenty-six. We can take him. Uh, I'm not yeah, saying we sure. can't. I'm not saying we can't take him. I'm just saying you have fun with that. <laughs> Good point. I will have fun. I love having. fun. Oh, we have another random. <laughs> and these are 26 as well. Oh, they're the same group. Yeah, they're, uh, oh. Thank you for the 20 months, Shadow Hunter, and hello, everybody. It's another Old Republic stream. That's right. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Yes. Same crew as last time, Stormy, Turk, and Adam, but my friend Mercy finally joining us again. Yes, because employment. <laughs> and goddammit, I needed this because this week has been hectic as fudge. I've heard and it's probably going to be the way for the next three or four months. I've heard from my other mate, Biodegradable, that apparently Australia is dealing, dealing with another outbreak, supposedly. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, Victoria. Fuck. Yep, because people are idiots. Okay, uh, ten bits from Tracy. She wants me to tell Turk that he, that Tracy said he's a short, edgy bitch. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, uh, dang. <laughs> Going for where it hurts. <laughs> hey, at least she didn't call you by the name this Love time. You too, Tracy. <laughs> oh man. I am You are. So tempted to shoot Mercy in the face right now, but he's got a higher item rating than me. <laughs> because I just checked his gear. Oh, yeah, I better check check yours then. <laughs> now, you've got a full set of blue gear, you cheeky sort. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what doing heroics as a sub does. Uh, Oof. yeah, I just, I didn't do heroics because I didn't want to out-level that group. Oh, yeah, well, this is old gear. I'm probably due for the next set very shortly. Oh, Tracy, you're going there. <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> and why do uh, I have a feeling damn. I'm to blame for this? I'm so upset. As you can hear in Another the inflection of my voice, I am very up. upset. Another 100 bits some Wunderschnell. Be sure to use the outfit designer for those outfits, unless you're able to extract the mods from that armor in your inventory. Outfit designer is just cosmetics. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I can basically put on any other armor and it'll still look like this, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, that was a nice. Slot. That was a nice update when they added that. Hmm. I. That was the day that. That, you know, it's, uh, the old republic really grew as a kind of as a, uh, for outfit options. Wow. Before yeah, that, you especially... literally had to you literally had to equip everything you wanted to wear. It was annoying as hell. And I hear it also especially helped the role-playing community that's grown in here. That was part of what I meant, like... Oh yeah, fair part, point. Partly, partly, partly the kind of the in-game fashion community, but also part of the role-playing community. Yeah, very much. At one oh, point, I actually what? started taking to equipping every uh, armor set on, on a character, just stamping on, stamping like... Yeah, but I even stamped the the gray starter outfit in slot one one time. Oh. Yeah, that's that's very much. Yeah, fit pretty much. I know of Star Wars Empire at War. Isn't that like one of the bigger Star Wars games that's existed? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a real-time strategy. It's like 
Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's like a strategy game. I even play yeah. it myself from time to time. Yeah, it's a Star Wars real-time strategy. It's. Yeah, it's just that without mods, you're pretty much stuck with just the the original trilogy. I on how I miss you. It's very, I mean, it's very um, versatile, but. Okay, Tracy. What do you call a brewer that lasts forever? A Millennium Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Tracy. Yeah, that's true. Hey, what? How is it I use the outfit thing again? I uh, Mercy, did you just uh, start the quest without us? No, that was you. Oh no! Oh no! You you just started a hollow call. Yeah, you started it. Wait, what? Uh, no. No, I'm no, saying no, Stormy started it. Oh, I uh, could just. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm, mist I'm mistaking you for someone else. That just ran off. Ah. But yeah, it says that we're all out in the we're all waiting in the hollow call. Uh, kind of waiting on you, Shad. So. I'm just yeah, yeah, I don't think Shad. Yeah, it says that Shad's ineligible because he's not in the room. Yeah, he's still in the hangar. Yeah, he's still in the hangar. Yeah, we're gonna I have am... to wait for. We're gonna have so to wait I'm for him. I'm trying to get my armor situation sorted out here. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I might have something that might help uh, you out with what that. What you need to do, Shadow, that, but... is you press the two, and then you. Um... And then you right click whatever you want. Alright, alright, yeah. Yeah, and then you can equip whatever you need. There we go. Oh, yeah, once you empty out your inventory a bit, Jen, I got a few more things for you. Some that you can use now, others that you'll have to level up a little while before you can equip them. Oh. Yeah. yeah, just gonna have to wait for you to get here first, so... Yeah, deal with your inventory situation first, and yeah. yeah I'm trying to figure it out, so... I, I'm so... I'm so bad. Terrible at this. Yeah, some of the junk items you can sell in the vendors over here. Alright. Oh, commit. That's what I gotta do. I don't know how I didn't uh, notice that before, but alright. Now I have it more. Sorry, Vendor Snell. Not an option. Server call, and it's a private server. I'm I think he means he wants to run around. I need to find a place to offload all this stuff I have in my inventory. Oh yeah, the junk stuff you can sell it, sell for some credits. Everything else you could probably either sell hell or just put in your put in a legacy vendor. Or alternatively. This cargo hold that I have the unlock bit for you. Let me move on. Da, 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 da. To the spaceport. Sobrick spaceport. There he is. Oh, yep, there you are. Welcome to Balmora. Hope you're ready for a war. Captain Rigel, Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. When the Empire invades, we're the ones who seal the deal. Sounds like a good business proposition. Balmora. It's my understanding there's some kind of battle. Yeah, if you could call a pile of bodies a battle. The Empire invaded Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to prove them wrong. How hard can it be to put down a few resistance? It's not just a few <laughs> resistance. They're well organized and well armed, but they can <laughs> be broken. The Balmora oh. government in exile, backed by Minister of Defense Vol Arjun, is giving us fits, backing a strong faction of the resistance. The minister is safely off planet, but if we break his allies here, we break him. We break him, we break the resistance. Why doesn't Imperial Intelligence just have him assassinated? The 
I get your thinking. Cut off the head and kill the body. Except resistance movements aren't organisms. Exactly. If we took out Arjun, it'd be big. But as long as his power base stands, some other idealist is bound to step in. That's why we need to take everything out. Do we have the privilege of your support? I will hunt the Empire's enemies, and I will break them. We are most honored to have you, my lord. My second in command, <laughs> Lieutenant Davril, is masterminding phase one of what we like to call Operation Breaking Point. You'll find him in Sobrick. He's got plans to blow the Balmoran resistance sky high. I think you'll like them. Oh. Never go wrong with a few explosives. Nope. Oh, and like, well, you know, if you get one way, one cross wire, one way with a pinch of beradium, maybe. Potassium chloride, you mean? No, beradium. That's a Star Wars chemical. Oh, yeah, fair enough, yeah. I, I've just seen the video of that one explosion in the Clone Wars. Alright, now to find a place to offload all this stuff. Right, you're prop. Ah, oh, right. Oh, well, if you. Oh, just a sec. Where'd you go, Shad? Oh, oh. I can send you just one, just one thing first. Oh. All right, Bunter, we're looking forward to seeing you. Wow, we all have different quests. One of us has to go to the Imperial headquarters. Yeah, that's uh, the classes go... for you. Yeah, no, 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 let's go to Malvikwin's office. We all need to go to the ICCC, uh, I, the IEEE command post. And uh, two of us need to go to Imperial Intelligence. Because two of us are bounty hunters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, you and me stole me. <laughs> sir, I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best. Oh, yeah, on the vendor says it has this sell junk tab, and you can just get, all, get rid of all your junk items immediately. Focus oh, that, that's definitely handy. There we go. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I'm to be your liaison here on my way. That's all the junk sorted out. Done. All right. All right, let me just give you one thing first. That distinction, my lord. Oh, oh. Yep, it'll be, fo it'll be within the ship. I'll, I'll give you the rest of the stuff af afterwards. Hold up. This unlock has already been applied to your Oh. I recall seeing you seen the legacy or seen the legacy thing, but not the ship. Oh well. The Republic cannot be tolerated. Oh. It is my dream to see our enemy. Right, so uh, probably might be a be a ship ship inventory bit somewhere in Sobrick. I'll try and see if I can find it for you. What else can I get? Ah, yes, yes, it's an Imperial requisitions. The ship inventory will be in there. Okay. Of course. Retrieve and eliminate. No loose ends. And get to the point. My spy is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the same thing. I'm a consummate professional. My operatives in this sector. I say. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. Because the way you run an auto. Before you kill Rylan. Uh, just. Uh, just running in the middle around here. Just trying to point Shad towards the cargo hold. Yeah, take your time. Oh yeah, that that tri that gold triangle with the credit symbol. Yeah, you can sell that for a few creds. Oh yeah, that, yeah, those are, those are the gold triangle kind of, um, yeah, the gold pyramid actually, rather than a triangle, oh, yeah, the gold, kind of, the gold pyramid slash triangle shape, the avenue inventory, yeah. Now I gotta catch up with Mercy. Oh, 
wherever he went. Then contact me. Yeah, uh, I should be exposable once you leave. He's kind of milling around in the, in the, I don't actually know what this area is. It's the square or something. Yeah, I'm just out, outside of the Imperial requisitions. Oh, there he is. I suppose I'll follow him then. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a bank in here. Right, here you go. Ah, excellent. Now I can put all this valuable stuff away. Jeez, Turk, you're looking a lot more gold than I recall. Yeah, this is my good guy bounty hunter. <laughs> right, an alternate universe where Phantom is actually a good guy from the start. <laughs> well... Who Which knows? the main it's phantom of, of Modiverse Prime ends up killing him first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy. Wow, giveaway details we haven't even established yet. <laughs> that no one that no one even <laughs> gets for, that no one even understands because you're talking about a character that hasn't even really been introduced. Yeah, they'll figure it out. <laughs> because one of them is not even canon. <laughs> Wait, who's not canon? <laughs> well, we're not even sure. You know, like, you've got the you, 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 light, but light boy over here. I there we go. Inventory is all well. nice and cleaned up now. Right then, and I can give you the rest of this stuff. There's more. Yep. I and mean, then if it was canon, I would I would claim it that it's non-canon. Oh! Just to throw people off. Yep. Mm -hmm. Full set of armor. Yeah. Gracious, Gravy Maloney. Huh? Yep. All with stats, too. Equip that, equip that. Oh, that. Uh, you got maximum amount of um, credits in your inventory, don't you, Shadow? Yes, I do. Hold on. I'll oh, yeah, you do. One second. I keep getting that. Here, use this droid and put in, like, 800,000 credits, and then you'll have enough for repairs and shit. Oh, shit, I forgot I had this. There we go. Thank you kindly. Oh, yeah. But wait, there's more. More? Yep. Oh, you remember when I said that there was stuff, stuff that you'll have to level up a while more before we can get or equip? If I can quote Jim Dale, really? More is there? You're not oh, just yeah. saying that. <laughs> oh! Waste on his yeah, throne. that stuff you might want to put in the ship for for now. Uh -huh. Right. So, do you have the artifact equipment authorization? Like, what now? Uh, just the last two bits. Oh. Okay, what is this? No, Alright, that's all of it. Very nice. And artifact equipment authorization, whatever that does. Yes. So that, that pink tier stuff that I just gave you, you can equip that now. Oh. Well, not no, right, I, right now, because yeah, you got to level up to 46 first. Jesus. We're in Balmora. I've had. Yeah, I've had too many credits from my alts. <laughs> Thank you, obviously, because this is actually some obvious quality shit, but. Holy shit, dude. What did I do? What did I do to. You know what? I'm not even going to finish that because I know I'm going to get an answer. And I'll probably take way too long to actually answer that question. Yeah, you would. Right now well, so, to... what exactly are you giving them? Like, gear parts? Like, armoring, uh, mods, and enhancements? Uh, uh, just like, like, stat armor. Oh, standard armor? Mm. Standard actual pieces, rather than modifications? Yeah, the pieces, not the mods. No mods. Mm. 
And now, and now your mind. abilities okay. will have a little extra kick now. Yes, we're still in ah. Sobrick Wonder. Also, what is the exact subjugator mount you got me, the Wonder? Because I'm actually trying to find it now. Oh, Kukri sub Subjugator. Yeah, you'll have to go outside before you can before you can oh, right. get yourself Why on it. I... Why did I? There we go. All right, I have to un. Why? I keep forgetting these things. I'm so stupid. I have to unlock the damn thing first. I can remember where I even put it. Well, you know, speaking of mounts, hmm? I've got the best hardware. And I think I'm going to use this one. Ah, basic, classic. Uh, no, but the name of it, Mercy. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, oh, Florendili Shadow. Eh, <laughs> eh, clever. <laughs> I put it in my cargo? That that is a genuinely good question, actually. I evidently I'm just This is ironically enough one of my least favorite mounts. I I mean, it's understandable, it looks like shit. Yeah. It's like it's one of the most bland mounts in the game. The name is cool, but that's the only cool thing about it about it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Looking to upgrade your arsenal. Also, I have a tank. Huh. Nice. Good hunting. I don't have a collection of another character. What? What? I've got the best hardware and the best prices. I might have so What? Did I sell it? Oh god, don't tell me I actually did that. Oh fuck. Uh, you shouldn't have been able to sell it. No, if it, yeah, you shouldn't have. If it's if like a cartel, cartel, like market, cartel market item, you can't sell those. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so it's either in your inventory or in your cargo hold. I'm actively trying to look for it, because I'm hoping... Hmm. No, oh, one oh, the Chanel, I, that, I don't... Hold on, open up that, uh, the picture again. What? Yeah, that, uh, that... If it's uh, if it's got that logo that's got the little um little up button, the little up icon rather than like a kind of a refresh looking icon, that means you've unlocked it on another character. Well, I only have this one, so what? what? Hmm. Oh. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Well, you're probably you're probably stuck in your cargo hold then. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on, Shad. Press the B button, which will be your abilities tab. Then okay, just slide on to awesome. vehicles and. Hopefully it should you be in there. Item to your collection. Uh, P, not B. Oh, your P. Your B button is your cruise skills. Good right, I thought I said, yeah, I, no, I said P, but must have, Mike must have cut out at the first half. There it is, Kukri Sub, that's the one that it is, Kukri Subjugator. That's the one. Yep. Oh, you, you need to go outside to... for that. You just drag okay. it onto one of your hot bars. There I'm it sure. is. Yeah. You need to drag there it, there it is. Go. There you go. Terribly sorry about that, Wonder. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I scared you there. I was a little scared as well. All right, let's go deal with this intelligence guy. Ooh. And also the officers. Those bugs. Now that, is nice. now that is a flourish. Yeah, I, I guess yeah, I, 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 I apologize for that, Wonder, so. Score. Here we go. I heard Captain Ryan like was saying some of the to be a combo on this character. The battle for Balmora can only be won with blood, sweat, and tears. Our sweat, their blood. Don't even look right. <laughs> the government in exile, the resistance, cowards. We're going to bury them in their little hidey holes. What's a war without a little bloodshed? I like how you think. The old government sending generators to the resistance, powering their artillery. 
The Resistance has given pardons to Balmora's worst killers in exchange for a little guard duty. Phase one of Operation Breaking Point is to destroy those generators and put those killers to sleep. You in? Yes. I signed up to serve the Empire, and I intend to do it. From the looks of you, I'd say you mean it. The generators are in the Nibre warehouse. If you can blow them to pieces, you'll show the Balmoran resistance it takes more than cold-blooded killers to stop the Empire. Oh. Lovely. Now we can blast them to smithereens. Ooh. And maybe fry them. Oh. Right, I'll just talk about my class mission first, because I was waiting outside the whole time. I'll be right back. All right, we made what? Class mission. Okay. I knocked that out of the park while the others were doing the others. While everyone else was getting theirs already. Yeah, well, I was uh, waiting for Shad to show him that cargo hold thing. Yep. Uh, yeah, Shad, you got you got a class mission actually as well. Over there, in the Inquisitor phase. But where? What? Over here. At your service, my lord. Oh. I didn't realize... Oh! A trainer? I actually need to speak to you. Yeah, one of the weird things, like, they kind of... One of the really, really annoying things they had with the... They have with this is, like... Your class missions, like... It essentially thinks you're going to do the class mission along with the actual storyline, so... It intends for you to essentially right now. It intends for us to do for us each to do say our class mission objective while we're knocking out our main quest objectives. Hmm. But it's a little out of phase in this one. Well, not out of phase. Not out of sync in this case because like. In my case, I have to go to the Okara Droid Factory, which is a little further on than, say, Big Guns. But I have to come back to Sobrik. However, after I finish that mission, it'll send me further on onto the planet, where the next, generally into roughly around the next area where the next heart, the next phase of the uh, story, the planetary story arc will be. One of my favorite lines in this game. Colocoids? What do those bugs want with toxic waste? Ugh. And it's just one of the few lines that makes me laugh a little. I always hate the colocoid section because of the horrible sound those things make. Yeah, yeah, the creatures themselves, definitely not well received. <clears throat> Though, like in the original canon, they were what they were the what the design of the Droidica was based off of. Uh, yeah, I've heard that much. In fact, if I recall correctly, they were actually in the original version of the canon that the species that designed the Droidica. Nice rhyming there, Half Crooked Grin, and thank you for the 10 bits. Excellent. The cold cards we encounter on Balmora are simply a twisted, corrupted version of the standard species that have gone feral. Oh. Yeah, the cold cards are usually much more intelligent than the ones here. from Logan, should Keanu Reeves beat Darth Raven if they ever make the Old Republic canon? Uh, Keanu Reeves is Darth Revan? I, I could see it. But at the same time, I couldn't, because... Uh... Well, like, I could he see it. Exactly if, if... Like yeah, he kind of does, actually. Yeah, that's the fan casting I keep seeing of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Doesn't sound anything like them though. At least if we go by the games. Mm. That's because the sorry. game's voice but actor is Kyle Katarn. Oh yeah, good point. Very true. Wait, is, wait, is that is that not North? Mm, I don't think so. No. Oh no, it's not Nolan North. Yeah, I can't remember his name now. But yeah, whoever I know does you mean. whoever does Johnny Bravo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I always found that funny. Yeah, oh, Johnny Bravo's revving. You never would have guessed until you actually see the name. It's still hard to believe. Where's Adam? Uh. I'm on the. I took a taxi. Yeah, he's. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's gone ahead. I'm All just right. waiting because I'm in an area where I'm between both my story mission and the big guns, so I don't just to make sure which one we're doing first. All right. Because if we're just doing our story mission first, I'll just run ahead and do mine. Sounds like a plan. After, um, Rip those guys to after shreds. After Mora, where you do all these kind of like trashy quests, I think it's completely fine that you can just stick to story quests, so you don't have to do a whole bunch of confusing dog shit from then on out. Because leveling up right. at a city tour is like baby shit now. Really? It always kind of was. It, it was always kind of easy to level up in this. It was extremely hard actually. back in the old days. Oh no, I mean, I, I know that, but it's like, it was always kind of like, if you had a cat, you know, if you had like rest XP or you're on a double XP weekend and you had a cat, you know, you had an XP boost on your character, it was, it wasn't piss easy. It wasn't like piss easy, but it was, it was, so, it was like, it was still generally easy. I mean, it was something of a grind, yeah, but you generally find yourself out leveling the planet. Hmm. You got to remember, I, I, I started out. I started out my game playing this before Rise of the Hot Cartel dropped. Apprentice. I was wondering. Oh, so I know okay. how I know how hard it was. Like I, I I'm like an old schooler. I I played since before the first expansion. And if you have a moment. And that is old school. SWG got killed, so I was forced to play this in beta because the they were refusing the servers. Unit issued mm. to resistance fighters. You've probably seen hundreds before. This, this thing is older is than SWG, and that makes me really sad. Some surgery. Please look. Don't touch. The second one contains a half kilo of high explosive that detonates when the talk button is pressed. I assume this is meant to deal with the resistance. Yes, the plan is to take a few of these sabotaged comm units behind the resistance's lines and plant Hello, them Cap. on their dead. The resistance should soon salvage the comms and take them back to their headquarters. Resulting explosions will cripple and panic them. We'd prefer someone like you to take point. Someone who won't break if captured, and who can go without reinforcements. Can you do this? Oh, yes. Let's make this happen. Head over to our technical man, a Balmora local we drafted. The men call him Toy Box. He'll give you the ordnance and show you how That's to an odd name. Because he makes a lot of good toys. <laughs> yeah, toys and that blow night, shit up. Leveling back then in this game was a nightmare, and now you should be able to do only story missions as a subscriber. Yeah. Mm. Pretty much. The level you are right now after Balmora, you sh we don't need to do any more trash quests, so you could probably be a bit more, um... You can be engaged with your class story without having to be confused about all this other crappy Star Wars stuff. I'd recommend oh. still keeping a character boost on them, though. Yeah. Just in no. case. Because eventually uh, I will start like to plateau. Oh, I did it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Next people. Called with the details. I've got your car units rigged and ready to go. Oh, my name's Toybox. Because or it does start to plateau out eventually. Make... Yeah. Well, never mind. I mean, around. I think it's around Hoth. What do you think? Or um, not um, hmm. uh, around Hoth or Voss, where well, it's really starts to plateau out. I like it. It exterminates the resistance in their nests. The resistance, or anyone else that picks up the car unit. That's the idea, the dumbass. soldiers will be the ones stripping any resistance bodies, but civilians pick over bodies all the time. Refugees, sympathizers, sometimes you'll even see children do it. I remember referencing the villain from The Great Mouse Detective in Grimm, as in Radigan? I think I remember that. Anyone that scrounges at a soldier's corpse is no innocent. No, but it's more hmm. practical to kill a soldier than a civilian, right? We want a high-value target. While I was making no, the bombs, I remembered I had some empty grenade casings lying around. 
Now, a comm unit anyone will activate. But if we trapped a grenade to explode when armed, only soldiers will be in the blast. What would you think of that? <laughs> Has it occurred to you that the Fixer's plan relies on you obeying his orders? I'm sorry. I was just trying to show some initiative, my lord. Here are the trapped yeah, normally I would have gone light side in this, but I figured all the rest of you would have gone dark. Fixer 66 will be monitoring resistance. I mean, to be fair, if you do choose the light side option, he, uh, the Fixer actually bitches at you because that was the idea. The entire yeah, plan yeah, exactly. relies on, on civilians also being caught in the blast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, actually, Turk is definitely right that you can just, you can honestly just abandon, you can just like ignore these quests after Balmora. Yeah. And like after, after Balmora itself, but I mean, while we're on Balmora, definitely, we're going to have to definitely knock them out while we're here, but after Balmora, Nah, just like after Bamora, like Nashadar and the other planets, you can generally just ignore them. I know Transgamer, I am full dark side with this. Yeah, he's giving in the temptation, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I will give a full warning, however, doing certain planetary quest lines can, I mean, ref not doing certain planetary quest lines can lock you out of di certain dialogue options later on, but they're only really minor dialogue options and you won't notice them anyway. Because they're so easily missable. There is one quest you don't want to miss, though, if you're a Sith. It's the one with um, the Takata brain and uh, that one that that one Sith Lord and his apprentice oh, yeah, no, Laura. I, I think he did that one. Yeah, we did that. One. Yeah, I know. You get you guys did. You guys definitely did that one. But that's the thing. Uh, it's. It's not really a spoiler, because she's such a throwaway character, but Malora does show up again. Huh. Yeah, she'll show oh, up yeah. again a lot, le a lot later on. They added her more as kind of a throwaway character. I think she gets murdered, I can't remember. But she does show up later on as a completely insane, horribly mutated character. And she remembers the decision you made all the way back when you first met her at level... Yeah, when you bat you in year level 5 or whatever. All those years ago. <laughs> 50 bits from Top Ace. Evening, Shads. Enjoying life on the dark side? Well, yes, of course. It has cookies. What flavor? Chocolate chip. Ah, uh, go white chocolate. Yes. It's chocolate, so. Yeah, but white chocolate is supreme. White chocolate is the motherfucking shit, bro. I like I like my white chocolate. How do I? That's the thing though, it's the dark side, it's dark chocolate. Yeah, it's gotta be dark chocolate. I like dark... Well I like dark chocolate too, so all's well. Yeah, dark yeah, dark chocolate's good. But white chocolate's better. Where is it we are supposed to be going? Uh, well, I do. Well, I technically have to go into the droid factory, but we can head back to to the fixer. Can we get all the things set up. I planted bombs on the bodies. I don't know if it counted for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It should count for all of us. As long as we as long as we don't have a quest item we need to pick up to actually do so. Like, uh, as long as we don't have to pick up, like, an arc weld or whatever, it generally counts for all of us. As, as long as we're in, as long as we're all in, the, in like, the, uh, root radius. So, like, as, none of us, as long as none of us are grayed out, it'll count. Well, oh, yeah, return as long as we're... statistics, yeah. Do y'all want to do that yeah. now, or wait? Uh, I'd say we all do that now, because objectives, like... The Bounty Hunter is the first, is the only one that gets the objective to get sent into the droid factory straight away. The rest of the classes will be sent to the droid factory, like, as their second objective, like... You'll be, you'll be sent in there anyway. Like, everyone gets sent to the droid factory. It's just the bounty hunter is the only one that gets sent in there, like, straight off. Alright. Hmm. Now I got a satellite to destroy. 
Uh, no, Winter Snow, that is not possible. An ops group cannot adventure. It's like in World of Warcraft, an ops group is for, is essentially for raids only. We can't convert to an ops group and still do normal questing. Unfortunate. Yeah, that, it's very unfortunate. And I think there's a, I think they added a level lock to that anyway. Mm. Yeah, it's not yeah. possible to convert to an ops group and you have to have a, it, it's a hard requirement of having eight players in one of those. Right. There's been right, here we go. Resistance frequencies while you were off planting the ordnance. The resistance has set off three bombs so far. The first blast sent them scattering. Then, of course, they attempted to stay in touch via con unit. So you can imagine the results. Quite a successful operation. Has there been any collateral damage? Positively. One of the comm units wasn't far from their medical bay. And we think some teenager had the second one. Ooh, both are good. Without a medical bay, the resistance wounded will suffer. And the boy will serve as a lesson for looters. And with the investigation they'll have to launch to discover our method, we'll be ahead for quite some time. Excellent. Let's see. Ooh. Reactive, yeah, it's hard for the reactive warning. Nothing. Level 29. Oh, actually, there's another thing that Turk seems to have um, overlooked. The uh, class quests are. I mean, okay, so the gear we've been getting, like these these relics and whatnot. Yeah. They're leveled to. I mean, they'll scale to the planet. The thing is, the. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can get, like, custom gear, so it's not as much of an issue, but. The gear we get is meant to scale like to the current level of our like our current item rating for the planet. Mm. But you can only get it by doing you can only get this particular gear set by doing both the class quest on the planet and these these shit quests as uh, to call them. Oh god, ten oh, yeah, as... of, uh, ten, ten bits from trans gamer. Since sheds has gone evil, it's time for hashtag break the sheds. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys trying to, to do good for the galaxy? E by breaking him. Hmm. Why are we doing good? Anyway. Because uh, they say Shad's turned evil and thus they have to break the Shad. Uh. Uh, never mind. Uh, guys. Where you going? We're following Adam. Uh. He's. running off. He's attempting to solo it as part of a group because he's not a team player. Oh, he was wow. running off to do his class quest. I didn't know. Yeah, what I, I'll, pro I yeah, I, I'll what probably do my. Yeah, I'll probably just do my class quests offline. All right, what's the thing on Shad? Get to the records vault. Let's go to the records vault for Shadow. All right. All right. In the case of the records vault, that's actually down. Um, yeah, that's down back in Garth Canyon. Oh yeah, I know the way. The thing is, like, that I mean, there's only two classes that actually have their quests up here as the first, as the first thing they gotta do. The, everything else will be, like, the next objective for everyone, like, uh, Shad's and I think, um, Adam's the next objective will be in the Okara Droid Factory, which is weird. Because we do get sent and all get sent inside that Droid Factory no matter what, because they had no idea what they were doing when they were making like what well, they had an idea just, they just sent you all over the place it made this kind of questing as a group a nightmare when you were trying to do all story quests unless you were all like going into each other's class phases of course Interesting. it's down here Oh, wait. Yep, it's down here. Yeah, it should here. be down here. Oh. And yeah, yes, your class mission shadow will be, be by the other turn. We can head head on the, our way on the way back. I've just had a thought. I know Turk said you don't need to do any of the class quests. I mean, I mean, the, the planetary quests. Like, after, after Balmora. But there's one you really definitely want to do. 
I mean, the environment of the planet itself is kind of... But it's kind of nice looking till you realize it's a bit more like it's just a more colorful, slightly more colorful version of Alderaan. Oh, and boss. Uh, it's boss, but you definitely want to do the boss story. Nice. That'll be way, way later though. So yeah, yeah, that's like... That's like chapter... That's like chapter 3, I think. By that point, you should be invested in the story enough that you know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Alright. At that point, your class quest and your uh, and the, and the, like, the main quest line are kind of already tied enough together that you that you can follow it easily okay. enough by just following your class storyline. This is part of big guns. Oh, someone's already cleared out the area. Lovely. And and if we and take that lift, there's go. a holocron down below. Uh, above actually, but yeah, there's a holocron up here. Wait. It requires a bit of teamwork to get it. Yeah, good thing we have a whole whole army with us. Oh, absolutely. Right. Ah, uh, this looks like looks like this one was trying to go for the holocron too. There we go. Yeah, you can need enormous perfect timing. I think I have it on this, on this legacy now. So. Oh, this is one of those matrix shard uh, hard yeah, hard holocrons. Shard holocron. The green matrix shard. If you get trapped never... inside, just hit the switch and turn off the uh, turn off the boss from the inside. Yeah, I never quite figured out what these matrix shards were for. Uh, I think you get a, I think you actually get the quest to, that, that deals with them once you have every single one of them. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Oh, yeah, but yeah, you um, once you get every single matrix shard holocron, I, you should get the quest that deals with them. But uh, wasn't the aware they were tied to a quest. Yeah, they yeah. are. They're tied to a quest to for an unlockable of some kind. I can't remember what it. I can't remember what it is. Though, I never found it. A lot of the. Uh, uh, a lot of the items themselves. A bit difficult to explain it, but some of the holocrons. Or some of the datacrons, not just the matrix shard ones, but some of them in general are in very, very hard to reach locations. Luckily, the ones that don't contain a matrix shard are bound to your legacy. So if you've got a character that's got like, um, you know, an operative with the, uh, with the roll ability, you know, a character that can dash over distances, that can be very useful. Because there's some... Uh, certain occurrences have a lot of jumping, let's put it that way. Oh yeah, I've seen a few of those. Been through a few of them, yeah, especially the they... in Mora, Corellia. Yeah. Nashdar as well. Imperi the Imperial ones are Nashdar because there's Republic ones in Nashdar and Imperial ones. The ones in the Imperial areas, you essentially have to platform, and well, if you fall, there goes some of your fall. health. No, I mean, let me put it this way: you fall. Well. Don't fall. You plummet. Alright, so You'll Shad's okay. class mission. Even at level seventy-five, with maximum iron rent gear, you'll die. The core, if you fall, you're saying the Corbin tombs is a red mission shot. Mm -hmm. That goddamn lizard! I swear your lightsaber color keeps changing, Shad. Now it's gold. Really? Yeah. Because yesterday was purple, uh, now it's gold. New lightsaber. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it, the yeah, entrance is right here. Yeah, unless you actually stuck a color crystal in there, it'll keep changing color to the default color of the lightsaber. Yep, Shadow will have to go through first. Oop. There we go. Now let's let's kill some bugs! Let's some shit. Oh. oh. Oh yeah, a lot oh, of them God, in you. here. <laughs> Good thing I have oh, enemies. Jesus. Okay, boys. <laughs> Come and get me. Bloody fucking exterminator. That was not how I envisioned this going. Oh, there's more. They're weak. 
Yeah, they're not yeah, that exactly. tough. We, we they just swarm you. Yeah, yeah that seems to be the feral Colocoid's whole deal. I mean, they just wish to bug us. Ah. All, um, all joking aside, that noise they were making. Oh, God, that sounds shivers. That sounds like. It's like nails on a chalkboard, you know? Oh, yeah, when there's a large amount of them, yeah. I know, the thing is, I mean, like, in, um, the, I mean, for, like, the tougher ones in Bugtown. Oh, yeah, I've seen those in the heroics. Nightmares <sighs> to deal with alone. Well, not And I had to do it. <laughs> I, I said that I didn't say that they were impossible to defeat. They were just extremely difficult to deal with. More of a pain in the ass. They're not actually hard. Eh, yeah, true. At least, at least you could switch any companion to healer now. I usually play as a healer anyway, so. Ah. But yeah, that was one of the things that was one of the biggest pains in the ass was the fact that companions were locked as certain roles. Yeah, you could level them up. Like, Mako was dedicated as a healer, for example, as a banker companion. Or Malavite Quinn for uh, the equivalent of the Sith Warrior. Indeed, I heard it. Yeah, I've seen it back then. Yeah. And but the then since is... Fallen Empire, they changed it. Yeah, it was Fallen Empire where they, where they changed it so that not only do characters level with you, and their gear just automatically levels, so it's just purely cosmetic. Yep. They, you could actually change them to any role. So Kem Val, for example, was a melee tank. He was the melee tank class uh, for the Sith Sorcerer, for example. And he could only be a melee tank. Right, so back to Solbrick. believe so, yes. Mm-hmm. That's indeed correct. There's one this thing I do feel like they ruined with Fallen Empire. Was the oh, uh, Warzone mode. That's the game's, uh, that... uh, that's the, that's the game's multiplayer PvP. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, I never really delved into the PvP bits. I mean, they didn't really I mean... ruin it per se, more they just, they made it so that all, um, in an update after Fallen Empire, Actually, I think it was after Eternal Throne. One of the updates changed it so that instead of being Republic versus Empire, it's more kind of a war games thing. So instead of Alderaan Civil War being the original Alderaan Civil War, it's now <clears throat> war game simulation <clears throat> four nine crash Alderaan scenario. Oh then. Or the Novar Coast scenario is the. War game simulation seven three alpha. Uh, I mean, at least they kept the voices for the original commanders of that. Like for when a player is unbeatable, they kept the original the, the original announcement voices for stuff like that. But it didn't make any sense, especially with Darth Maul during the uh, the Void Star. been imagining things, but I could have sworn I heard those generators go pop from here. Good work, but it looks <laughs> like the resistance isn't done yet. You'd think the Empire would have an easier time with a ragtag bunch of resistance fighters. It used to be we kept the resistance in check in the wilds, but now they've started to get bolder. They're attacking Imperial holdings in the old Balmoran industrial area. We need to punish their boldness. Lieutenant Thorpe at Markaran Outpost has some ideas about how to put the resistance back in that place. Yeah, and Markaran Outpost was that place we were just at where we were talking to Pixel 66. So that's why he uh, took us back mm -hmm. here. Fortunately, yeah. we have a speeder to get there. Yeah, it sends us back here, but it's also so we can drop off our, uh, if we've done our class quest item, like class quest stuff, up forwards. It'll send us back. It'll keep sending us back to this beginning position, like, 
from the very oh beginning. Oh boy, Vunder, what on earth did you do this time? Oh, oh dear. Corellian Star Drive Flash, a Vectron Enforcer, and an Indigo Fog Weapon Tuning thingamajigger. Oh, and a million credits uh, again. Please. Dude, please. Quit we just emptied Chat's credit account before. I don't even know if he's a subscriber. The thing is, uh, non-subscribers have an escrow account where they'll get sent where the where the credits get sent to. It's like an offshore account that you can't access. Either way, thank you again, Vunder. <laughs> where did you all go? I took uh, the, I took the speeder. As oh. did I. Yes, I best be Oh wait, Garnth, uh, Garnth companion, uh, Garnth Canyon is the uh, is the nearby location. I remember now. It's before this one. Where's the speeder? What the hell? Uh, the, the little um, kind of dual arrow thing on the, the double-headed arrow on the mini map. That's a that, oh, that's an angle. Yeah. I'll catch up. Give me a moment. And. Yeah, it's just like a few seconds. Let's see, we need to talk to Lieutenant Thorpe. What the hell is this? Where am I taking to? My my carrot outpost, correct? Yep. Yep. Okay, I remember where Lieutenant Thorpe is now. Actually, there is one if it's around here. No, that's around. Hey, Anna, good to see you. This is my current planes. Actually, I know there's probably a quest around here that Turk might like. Okay, 10 bit, 50 bits of butter confirms my Tarkor guy is over 500 million credits. Turns out selling dupes from those packs really worked out in my favor. Nice. Uh, obviously, thank you again, Bunder, but. I'm surprised you'd think that there'd be a quest I would like in this game. <laughs> oh no, there is, I'm sure there's one definitely you'd like. Yeah, um, was... dealing with that one guy's wife. <laughs> that one guy's wife. On this planet, you know. <laughs> I remember Korriban, where I had we had to deal with someone's fucking daughter. I don't know about wife. No, uh, that would one, be Drummond uh... mm -mm. Oh my! Oh, how's... hello, Rack as well. And oh, fifty bits again from under. New class quest for the chat. Hashtag donate to Shads. I meant well. Oh there was a, well. There's a quest in the um. In the bounty hunter store. Oh what? No, it's, oh yeah, it's, it's, group it's, group quest. it's a group quest. Oh yeah, I remember it now. Right. Yeah, don't spoil it, Mercy. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. What do I mean when we get to it? So what are the ingredients for this mission? The resistance is people. That guy's big we mouth. must crush the spirits of the people to crush the resistance. Just makes As you want promised, to punch it. <laughs> officer will now lay egg in his mouth. Using an experimental God damn it. technology to land them on the planet. These cyborgs are killing our soldiers left and right. Rice! A thousand bits from top ace, no, turning in my quest. Nice. Well, you get big XP. That's why we hired you. Yes, a lot. I believe we can catch them by surprise at this location. But here's the key. I want to say <laughs> right. Sif boy, shut up! Collect the technology the cyborgs use to drop shut into our mind and use it against them. Kill the cyborgs, collect the technology. What do you think? You have a devious mind. Bring me the cyborg technology, and I think the Balmoran people will get our message loud and clear. Mm-hmm. Mm, let's... Ooh. Yep, Level 29. Eight. Let's see. At least let me catch up. Holy shit. Yeah, we should be sent. I know we'll definitely be sent to the uh, what the hell is it called? The not the Garnth Canyon. Uh, uh, Try to Droid Workshop, which is uh, in between Garnth Canyon and the Makaran Outpost. Fine. Actually, just actually just below. It's and just to the. Uh, it Trans gamer with ten bit turning in my small bounty. <laughs> the daily. <laughs> yeah, oh. daily mi mission. 
should be heroic now. Get over here! Over here! Over here, bitch! Finish him! Technically, I'm the only one who can actually say get over here because I'm the only one in the group with a pole. Which is why I didn't say finish. Yeah, yeah, true. I'm the only one in the group with a grapple. Yes, but we love Scorpion too much. Oh, yeah, yeah no. Scorpion's oh, nothing awesome. wrong with that. I'm so glad that, uh, that Patrick Seed's return to the role in Hans of Asa in Scorpion's Revenge. Mm. I definitely like Scorpion's MKX voice more than his MK11 one. It's three rock oh. packs. Alright, so we gotta kill more cyborgs. But... Uh, uh, Schnell, if you're Tarkora, you might not want to do that because you're kind of denying, denying us the mission bits. Yeah, that Bunder is Tarkora, yeah. Ah, well, since he's not part of the group, the, the mission ob objective won't, won't be applied, so. Yeah, and you're a level 75, so basically what you're doing is you're stealing the kills. Essentially, the game thinks you're trying to steal our kills, so it's locking our, locking you as out of the ability to loot these bodies. Once you attack a target, if the if the if the target is not part of your if uh, if you attack an enemy, if you aren't part if uh, if someone else isn't part of your group, then they won't get any XP or any loot from it. The moment you aggro an enemy yourself. Way, making steady progress. Progress. All right, that's all the rocket packs. That didn't take long. Easy. Yeah, easy thankfully long. not. Easy. Yeah, it doesn't take long when you're in a group. <laughs> Obviously. And if your RNG is good. Oh yes, yeah, uh, RNG. Group of four players can pretty much knock this quest out easily. Here we go. But has it the former Balmoran Minister of Defense, Vol Argon, got wind of your work destroying the generators at Nibre Warehouse? He's furious. I can't wait to hear his reaction when we attack him with his own cyborg's gear. Perfect. Maybe he'll decide to come here and fight, so I can kill him. We'll do our utmost to provoke him. To reach the Resistance's main base, we need to push through the Gorinth Wilds. But the Resistance have repelled all Imperial offensives with guerrilla attacks from this untamed and largely uncharted area. Balmoran Defector. Cavill Aaron has agreed to help us clear out the wilds and carve a path to the Resistance's base. He's at the Gorinth Imperial Outpost. Ascension in the ranks. Should be nearby, I think. Yeah, yeah, it should, yeah, it should be, be nearby. Well, back down the lifts we go. You mean the Jump. turbo lifts? <laughs> oh, turbo lifts. Well, game pulls and elevators, but the in-universe name is actually turbo lift. Right, right, cause no gravity. Yeah. No, it's just called a turbo lift because you know it moves. It moves at a decent speed. Eh, fair turbo enough. Lift. I mean, the toilet, the word, I mean, the Star Wars word for a toilet, or at least the bathroom, is the refresher. For a turbo so lift, that shit is slow. Well, yeah, it's... 
fucking slow lift. I don't think it means turbo speed. I think it's meant it was it was more efficient than carrying up a mountain by you know with like a old fashioned lever and pulley or something. Turbo diabetic speed. Turbo, <coughs> I can't get out of my chair. Please Wait. no. I think we went the wrong oh, way. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you guys will toggle on your uh, exploration missions a second, on your map. Yeah. Well, yeah, or I have mine. Come here. Ah, uh, yes, of course. That mission. Wait, how do I? How do I do that? What? Uh, go into your. Uh, pre press M to open your uh, world map, and the bottom left, just above, uh, just above galaxy map, show exploration right. missions. Done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, then, then come in here. To uh, to this uh, senior science officer Sokol. Right. This is here? this is one conversation. This is one quest that yeah. I'm sure Turk probably remembers fondly. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's been a long time. I usually try and actively avoid Belmore if I can help it. To a problem that has gone from insulting me to threatening the entire empire. Does the problem have two legs and a price on its head? Precisely. I hear that's your speciality. My name is Gan Sakol. I'm a senior science officer here at Troida. Perhaps you've heard of my involvement in the Protactinian bomber design. No matter. It would only help you understand the sensitive nature of what I do, the secrets I'm privy to. Let me guess. Those secrets walked off with someone they shouldn't have. Indeed. Though that's a kind way to describe high treason. But let me be direct. I am not the traitor. My wife is the one who betrayed first me, then our empire. That seems like more than a little lapse in judgment. I don't know if Kalara did this out of malice or boredom. I shouldn't have brought her here. I finally thought I had made her happy. But no. She found her own entertainment. His name is Jerez Bant. He's a thug. Clears the trash at the cantina in Sobrick. Imperial intelligence believes he's a spy, and I am certain beyond doubt that he's the one who has the design plans that disappeared from my bedroom drawer. If he's got those plans, he won't see tomorrow. I am truly honored by the service of so many of the Empire's finest. The plans must be recovered before Jerez sells them to the Republic. He should be at the cantina now. I will we'll need to go to the cantina for this one. As I can for this should first part. Of this refuse. But you'll like it, believe me. Wife. Yeah, fortunately we can easily quick travel to the cantina. Do we have that? Oh yeah, we do. Uh, so Brick, some can sell that cantina on your quick travel. Where now? Oh, uh, some can sell that cantina. That's near the... It's in, it's in the, you know, the place to be started. In. Welcome to the insanity. Uh, let's see. We need to talk to the bartender. Oh boy, also, Vunder in the chat. Mercy Turk and Stormy, be sure to check your mailboxes as soon as you get a notif. In game or or Steam? I believe they mean it's in, in here. game. In game. Mm, that's all, because I'm not getting any mail on my end. You may just not have gotten a notification throat. yet. What could I offer to wet your throat and bring a smile to your lips? Well, this guy's... big. Point me Chubby. Out, no it, I do like the fact that it changes the dialogue depending on if you're in a group or not. Imperial intelligence. Yeah, and this is the first I actually heard of it being multiple people. Because if you're a male, he says, good evening, sir. And if you're a female, well, he'll say, evening, mistress. You fine imperial citizens. Tell us how a spy seduced a fine imperial wife like Kalara Sokol. Kalara. Can't say I recall that one. There was a girl last night. These spikes like little thorns all down her neck. I've never even seen an alien like... Well, I guess that's not who you're here about. Give me the plans, and you go home with your head. Okay, okay. You're talking about the package I snagged from the Sokol girl, right? Good looker, that one. 
but not much between the ears. Anyway, here I we recommend are. choosing the dock because that'll be just hand. some data discs. I don't even know what's on them. I want names and locations on all your accomplices. <laughs> Talk to every bored wife in Sobrick. Okay, all done. Time to die. Try not yep. to bleed all over the discs. Depending on what class you are. Like, uh, you could actually get a different yeah. execution animation. The Sith Warrior force chokes him, and the, uh, the uh, Inquisitor will kill him with force lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had it That's coming. <laughs> well, that was oddly satisfying. I said you'd like I did say you'd like it. Now we have to go back to talk to the, um... Yeah, to the Troida military workshop. Yeah. Now we gotta go back to talk to the, um... The guy who gave us the quest again. And he'll send us on to the next part. Now time to deal with the traitor. Mm -hmm. Suppose it, traitor. Who, who's, who are we following here? What? what? Oh, we oh, need to go back to talk to the, uh, yeah. Science officer guy again. Checking the speeder. And yes, Aisha, that guy was big. Wait, which one are we going to? Uh, the science guy. Oh, well. Hang on, wait for me. I need to take the speeder. <laughs> That's the thing, if you, I mean, and it's us. also. Mm hmm, it's Rota. Yeah, the, um, one of the problems with, if you're in a holocall, is, if you'd been in a holocall in the cantina, you wouldn't have been able to choose the execution option. Mm. Because you can't, if it's like a, an option of, for example, executing someone, even if you're a force user, like, uh, using force choke, you still wouldn't be able to kill him, because it technically oh, Jesus, is, is counter for that. fucking quest. Huh? Yeah, that really sucks. I finally understand what Stormy means now. Nothing I love more than a... than a guiding quest. Um, no, no, that part's, the old that part's, escort. Yeah, that's the awful part, but the payoff at the end of that part is well worth it. I'm a light side character, though. <laughs> Screw oh, your light side character, boy! Boring! Oh! I guess Vunder was onto something on getting the, you know, pull down thing on the quick travels. So now I literally have only a, a five second cooldown on it, so. <laughs> mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Right. I look satisfied. I hope it's because the wretched spy who stole my blaster designs lies dead on his own floor. Mm -hmm. All that remains is my payment. I appreciate your service, but what of Kalura? I like the fact that there's a bounty hunter you can choose the option that you want the head. Affair? All he said was she's a lousy kisser. The boar. But I won't linger on that image. It's clear Kalara's part in this was vital and willing. If you haven't tired of my sordid tale, perhaps you could undertake one more task. Mm -hmm. Pay me enough, and I'll see it your way. This is a bit more sensitive than dealing with Haraz Bant. I could see fit to pay you triple what I would give otherwise. Consider it. If the triple, huh? That's <laughs> funny. Ruin the good name of this office, shut us down for months of investigation. All the while, the resistance would be gaining strength. The penalty for eating a spy is death. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. I have been considering how best to end this disaster. It should be quiet. Quick. Something that can be blamed on the rebels. No questions asked. I've got a talent for that. Let me call Kalara. I will tell her that you were to escort her to my colleague Garboza at the Imperial Outpost. The route has many isolated spots suitable for rebel ambush. Yeah, the only part that I don't like about this quest is the fact that it's uh, my dear, these an escort are quest. Engaged to escort you. Yeah, yeah, a good distraction would be to shoot at any any NPCs that are in the way. Yeah, that's usually the way you do it. You must obey me without question. Oops. Uh, of 
course, sir. We'll do another attack. I cannot wait to be off this blasted planet. Go to the transit point, Kalara. They will meet you there. Bloody hell, what the hell does she eat with a figure like that? When you find yourselves alone, you can put an end to her treatment. Seriously, what the hell does she do? Body build? My marriage. You can count on my discretion. Just be kind about it. I loved her once. It is best our names not be linked after this. When the deed is done, go to Officer Garboza at the outpost. He'll have your reward. You need not say what it's for. All we can right. still sell them out anyway, though. Hmm. Yeah, if you really want to be a true Dark Side character, you can absolutely sell the guy out. You'll even get a reward later on for doing so. <laughs> like you'll get a little, you'll get you'll get mail later on, depending on which choice you've made, and you'll get a, you'll get a message from um, from uh, Sans Officer Cole, depending on which choice you made. What is this? This oh. is uh, this here is um, yeah, this is the guy we're talking to to pick up. Well, the point. Hmm. He's just wife. Well, this uh, is the part where we're picking up Turk, apparently. <laughs> Turk, you traitor! What did I do? Well, we're picking up the wife. Dan doesn't usually go out of his way to see me. Yeah, I picked her up. Is this going to be so dangerous? Or are you really just my chaperone? Hmm. You can't stop us from looking, can you? Depends what you're asking to look at. Let's get going. Good lord. Alright, so escort quests. Yeah, pretty much. As long as no enemies actually get too close, then it's usually fine. There's a few that are a problem though. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick close by, so. Right, just in case something happens. Such as me shooting these guys. Why did you stop? Tries to get, if you get too far away from her, she'll stop walking. So it's best that someone stays behind with her. No, everyone has to stay with her. No. Uh, Guys. that's a new one. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's because it's a group quest, my dude. Oh yeah. Hey, well, I thought at you least one person. That. You forgot about that, didn't you? No, I thought at least go, one person in the group had to stay no, with her. No, no, it's it's always been it's always been that since this way since day one. It's to prevent. It's basically to prevent you from cheating. How could it's... you even possibly cheat in an escort quest? <sighs> okay, let me. Oh, it. it's to, oh, it's hey, no, prevent... I, I got the picture now. Yeah, it's to prevent you from cheesing it by running ahead and killing the NPCs and killing all the NPCs and making sure she doesn't run into danger. You mean like this? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically like that. You have a non-group member that's doing it. Yeah, but it's basically to prevent you from trying to cheese it. Bit of a pain in the ass and a bit cheeky that they do that. Yeah, I've seen worse mechanics in MMORPGs. Guys, mm. if I. But... Yeah, at, le at least yeah, she's quiet the whole time. Oh, yeah. I do love the fact she looks around like. like really, really worried as if she's not. It's like. Dude, we just took you to an abandoned surveillance camp. Are you just it? Yep, we get to kill her here. Shifty eye. God, I hate that clip and the weird clipping on this helmet. Why are you looking around so much? Like that? It's all surrounding like you're her. Looking for someone. Are you expecting an attack? She only just now noticed while three of us were staring at her the whole time. Oh no, that Great. number Is again. Oh, yes, I slept with him. And the slime God, never even picked up a calm link after that. Is Gun such a Why? baby that he'd frame me for treason because I slept around? Treason? Seriously? Tell Gun that Harris is a jerk and I've broken it off. If he had the guts, he would ask me himself. Here we go, Harris is a spy. If 
boyfriend has known connections to Republic intelligence. I don't know anything about that. The guy told me he was a pilot. Look, can't you just talk to him or, or something? He, he wouldn't really kill me for this, would he? Oh, Your selfishness honey. aided our enemies. You get no mercy. You're going to kill me for this. For this. No. Yes. <laughs> I gotta be honest, when she said that she was like, oh, I only just slept around, I was like, well, it's a shame that my gun just came out of my holster. <laughs> <laughs> exactly my point. Oops, I accidentally turned on my saber. <laughs> yeah, oops, I, my, oops, I, um, I was pointing at my blast right here, and my finger slipped. Oopsie! Because, you know, these accidents <laughs> happen all the time. <laughs> yeah, shame I've got shame my blast is on a hair trigger, isn't it? I gotta Pretty tell much. you that was <laughs> I, I gotta say that was oddly cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you'd like it. <laughs> Most of the exploration quests are a bit more tedious than that, but this is definitely one of the more fun ones. Except for the whole yeah, you know, except for the whole escort quest aspect. Yeah, hey, at least it's not that long. Oh yeah, yeah, it's decent. It's decently, it's decent speed. But if you do, if she does end up engaging any of the enemies, like if you end up, if she ends up in combat with anyone, I gotta warn you, she dies. Like, she dies. Well, like, you know, she's got the best less the health than a mayfly, really. I mean, no offense, but you don't exactly look like science core material. You know? What exactly is he paying you all this for? Not <laughs> much is it? I could add a little something on top of this Ooh. for information that lets me pass uh, always as a way, girl at the next evaluation. That'll happen. Call it a tip. Fifteen percent. Hmm. So dark side. Officer Sakol hired me to kill his wife and her rebel boyfriend. Pretty little Kalara had Republic. That just lights that option because. Uh, oh, that is not going to look good to the clearance board at all. Yeah, because. Bounty hunter. Unprofessional to, it's unprofessional yeah. to betray a client. Uh, yeah, professional. But Perfect. you're not the one who did the betraying, it's fine. Yeah, technically, I mean, if I was doing it solo, technically if I actually left the group now, it would actually count as me actually having done the light set option. Well, actually, even though, even though I'm part of the group, because I chose the light set option, and it was even though it was a group quest, it still, it still counts on my end. Like my client is asking for Stormy and Mercy if they got any mail yet. Uh, uh no, I have no. not. I'm not subbed to the game right now either, so it might be taking a while. Yeah, if you're not subbed, it can take a long time to send. Yeah, I don't yeah which is odd because mail. I'm subbed and I still haven't got anything. Yeah, the mail system in the game is a bit slow. It's got that weird kind of artificial delay where it, it delays it between players. Even if you, I think it's even if you sub that has that kind of weird up which delay on that makes sense. Range. Too bad it's not like uh, FF14 where you can press a button to to reset the system and hopefully send the message faster. Okay, so what's the plan now? Um, let's see. Garth Canyon is that one, so. I think we should probably do our class quests. Alright. On um, Unless, uh, Turk, do you remember where the next one was? Um... It depends on whatever is on Shadow screen right now. I meant yeah, the next set of like. Inquiry, the prophet arrives and despair. Mm. Well, we were heading to despair to before things. we went on the exploration mission. We should probably do a class quest then, because I know it'll eventually send us into the droid factory. Right, so, right. so we got Adams and mine in this area. Ah. I'm a bounty hunter as well, remember? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Power tech. The superior uh, mercenary. class. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm jokingly calling it this. I'm jokingly saying that because. Yeah, like, yeah, I know, I know. I mean, purely because like it's it's underrated, honestly. Like so many people prefer mercenary because of the dual blasters, but power tech is seriously underrated when it's actually DPS. 
Yeah, fair enough. And honestly, I actually played a power tech in season two of ranked PvP. Nice. Ah, back in the old days. Yeah, when they still had solo ranked. Before it was absolutely dead. And before they, I mean, honestly, you hear about the changes they made to solo ranked? Uh, no, I don't think I joined in at that point. No, 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 I mean, the changes they made in a recent update, where you have to now have a certain, I think you have to have, like, Valor rank 50. And you have Jeez. to be, like, I think you have to have, like, a certain item rating to even, to even queue for solo ranked. It's like... You guys remember, you devs remember that solo ranked is already dead, right? You, you know, you're essentially just shooting a dead horse at this point. Not just beating it, you're just shooting it. It's like oh, shooting man. a corpse. It's completely pointless. It's not gonna do any damage. Then more damage has already been done. And it, all it's gonna do is make a bigger mess. Woof. What are the noise noises they're making? Man? What? Yeah, the droids make some pretty stupid noises. Mm. Yep, oh. yep. I'll be out of phase with you guys. Oh, wait, hang on, let me see if I can. No, 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 I'll be out of phase with you guys because I'm, I'm on this quest as well. Ah, uh, and since I entered first. First, you two are sh seeing it from my perspective. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have a different perspective because, like, I'm got this one. The, the one on my end is like I'm on this exact same class quest, so I have to do the same thing in here. The technically, if I was uh, role playing as a Mandalorian, the, or at least a child of the Watch Mandalorian, this would be the only time I could take you with my helmet. Right. Yeah. Take the stars. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. My reconnaissance team was evaluating the factory's computer systems when the droids overpowered us. The droids slaughtered my team. I've been stuck here for days without food, water, or sleep. I'm here to make sure you input the virus. You know about that? But I can't do what Perel wants. It's impossible. If I put the virus in the computer... Oh, I love control, that alarm. It will trigger alarms. Those droids will swarm us. Oh, yeah. I'll make a nice big scrap pile out of them. There are dozens of them out there. Crazy killing machines. You oh, can't fight I them really all. love that alarm. We've out of way where situations will be fine. I remember the first time I heard it in, in A New Hope, when the Death Star was okay. under attack. Oh, you underestimate our power. Yeah, but Stormy's doing it all alone here. Yeah, I believe in her. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty powerful enough. I love this Good alarm. Old. Here they come! Woo! Okay, time to make us some scrap metal. I always hated droids. It's the junk. Oh. Damn droid! Eat missiles! The only good droid is R2-D2. Oh, well, here they all are! Blast them! Hey! Uh. All right, then. That's all of them. I can't believe we're still alive. Skill level now. up. Oh, my stars. Thank you. Nice. You're amazing. Hmm. I'm bailing out of here before more droids show up. Running away Definitely. never felt so good. My contract with Perel stipulates no loose ends. That means you. Oh. Oh no. Please don't kill me. Also, damn, Mako. 
I'll have a cold. Another computer. Just let me go. You're asking me to break my deal right, with Corel. Mercy, have you even got, you like, allow the, um... Who depend on me. I'm begging you. Allow access to same, cla uh, same class as personal faces activated. Uh, wait, hang on a sec. Can you say that again? Allow access to same class plus personal phases. It's under social uh, in your game menu. Uh, I don't think I have before. Yeah, Never that means I can't. I meaning even that Got means it. even if I had. You won't. Thank you. Even if I hadn't been on the same quest, I wouldn't be able to get in. Wow. Oh. It looks like Mercy stayed in Mercy's hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, shut it, in. you. <laughs> <laughs> You let her live, didn't you? Yes, he did. Yes. What He's not I a say? professional. I'm excited. Hey, professionals have standards. Yeah, yeah but you're on like a contract. Yeah, standards? When you're on a contract, those standards go. Yeah, your standards are sticking to your contract. You were hired to kill her. You're betraying her. Oh, yeah. Eh, it's not like he's gonna notice or anything. I mean, he is pretty stupid by the sounds of it. Oh no, that's the thing. He wouldn't find out. I think he finds out, and he gets pissed off at you. Like there are certain cases. Actually, there is. Um, that reminds me. Back on Hutter, the character of Yolt, when you're asked to like kill the slicer uh, on Hutter, and basically give, bring the uh, bring his wife his own head. You can let him live for a couple of seconds, you know, he'll actually, he'll crash, you can let, you can agree to let him crash Fathra's accounts, you know, Fathra's Hut's accounts, then kill him when he tries to, then turn around and kill him. Basically give a non-committal answer of, don't say, you know, don't agree outright to actually let him live, just give a vague answer. Then kill it, then turn around and kill him when he's already crashed Fathra's accounts. And Nemro okay. will actually give you a bonus. <laughs> Okay, so how do I switch over to allow you into into my quest, Stormy? I go into preferences. It's under your uh, social menu, right at the top. Oh, right, right. Social. Oh. Allow access to same class, same class personal phases. Oh. All right. I I love oh. this one coming from Aisha. Mercy, the Vault Tech brand bounty hunter, surprisingly kind-hearted. Mm. Uh. Okay. God damn it, where is it? Oh, here it is. Preferences, social. Allow access to same class personal phrases. Yep. That's the one. Well put there, Sly. Well put there, Sly. <laughs> Vaccine still kicking your ass, Shots? Maybe a slightly bit. At least my arm isn't hurting like a motherfucker anymore. Yeah, I hear you. That's not, that part is not fun. I mean, hell, I mean, ugh. You should see my veins in my arm earlier today. It was weird. Ugh. Yikes. Is... Yeah, I could fucking see my veins. It was freaking weird. Oh, wait, wait. What, what about Adam's class mission? Um... Uh, oh, 25, oh, yeah. 25 bits of thunder. Stormy, he sent you something earlier. May take an hour to appear because fucking mailbox, you know. But it's got a helmet that looks better than the one you wear right now. I'm only wearing this helmet right now because it's currently my- I'm not actually stamping any gear on this character. I have some gear in- in my Legacy Stronghold, actually. But I don't have the credits to stamp the entire set, so I'm not stamping it. I'm only wearing this because- uh, Literally only wearing this gear set because it's the gear I'm wearing. Like, you know, it's the gear I have equipped. When I get something better, you know, well, you know, some credits to actually equip something better. Eventually, then, then, then I'll do it. But yep, yep, oh, yep. now I got some mail. Yeah, mail finally arrived. I mean, part of the reason I'm wearing this but... helmet is also because of the class. Um, they, like, it's um, I'm so used to doing the class storyline. And the planet storyline. I got a different helmet later on, but it still kind of looks a bit ugly. When I get this planet. I just gotta heal up a bit first. Uh, there we go. Nice place to go, 
Shadow's be waiting around a glow stick while sitting. Mm. Yeah, that's oh. alright. The reason the lightsaber is gold is because that's the color. That's the default color for uh, that's the like the default neutral color for lightsaber. Uh. Yeah, that's the default neutral color. If you don't have a crystal um, in the crystal slot, it'll be a default color of gold. Same with blasters. I see. Onwards. I mean, the thing is about blasters is the original default color wasn't always gold. I mean, for some lightsabers, for some lightsabers it won't be. Like for certain lightsabers, like the Sith lightsaber, it is defaulted to red. Scrap piles to add to the pile. Yes, are you quite? Oof. Rumba Roses, thank you for the raiding party, as always. My lord. Oh. I mark your progress. Oh, that's right. Holo call. I will detonate once you are a safe distance. First, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromised. Oh look, it's Darth Fatness himself. <laughs> yeah, I keep hearing that name. In Braun's invading the Republic Keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermot. He is Ryland's son, and the commander confided his true identity to him. Are you comfortable here, Cat? Be silenced permanently. It will be my pleasure. I'll make sure he never talks. I'll signal Quinn to give you the details. Be swift. My lord. Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater Outpost. Awaiting questioning by the mysterious uh, agent Barris has been tracked. And thank you, Eddie the Raven, for the host. The investigator appears to be headed there. I assume you wish to get to Dermot before she does. It's none of your business, Imperial. I apologize, my lord. My inquiring mind often gets the best of me. I won't delay you any longer. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything. My cat Charlie has decided to park himself on my desk now. Ah. Oh. Words and upwards. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, thank you very much for the kind words there, Sly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm content with the viewers I have right now. It's just I never honestly figured out how I could, you know, you know, get more. But I don't care that much. Just any audience for me is good enough. Mm -hmm. This stuff entertained. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but... where to now? Um. Hmm. I think we have to return to Sobrek. Yeah, yeah Sobrek is. Yes. We're, we're all back to Sobrek, so. I'm just gonna kill this droid. Fast sure. travel! I did not mean to do that. Oh, thank you, Wonder, for the free credits. Wait, why do you gotta read. Why do you gotta return to Sobrek? So yeah, because I think Shen needs to continue his class mission there. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, most of us do, yeah. Because the class missions in this were. Uh, on Balmora were all over the place. It's like they were first figuring. I think I, I always felt like on Balmora they didn't really figure out what they were doing until the next planet. Like Nashadar, they're a little more streamlined, so they're more in line with the actual planetary quest. Ah, well, you still have to money. you still have to go back and forth between the the class quest giver and like while doing the story quests. 
Yeah, and thanks for the million credits, Chanel. The thing is with the uh, Balmora, it's we very just, weird. I'm sorry, should we just be busting out the Shane O'Mac already? What? Nah. Not really, no. Million credits is, is easy to grab if you really invest into it. Yeah, it's pocket change. Gonna, uh, top A is asking, are you gonna do the bonus story after the main planet story? Uh, hmm. Do that we want to? Would uh, depend. Uh, Oh, I mean, we don't have to, I need to check but... my trainer. Yeah, it's completely optional. And it's I'll also kind later. of a... That particular story is also kind of a pain in the ass. I'll do that in a bit. I'll just... Yeah, we'll probably just try and uh, commit to the regular right, story so the Shadow has a more cohesive my uh, experience. Because at the end of the day, he's I eventually going to have to hit the... Um, the expansion content, which all becomes very single-player oriented. Don't worry about the colonel. It, you can't have people with you, though. That is, that is one thing. we all are these days. Mm. What with a supply shortage. Now, did you manage to find anything out of the lab? Captain Ilon and I have been doing our own... Loading <laughs> saber! Okay. ...discovered much. There were bugs, bugs, and more bugs. I hope the colicoids didn't give you too much trouble. Have a look at this, Captain. I, I can't make... Oh, look, I ain't got a... Hmm. The shadow uh, is a floating saber. The colicoids were being mutated to clean up the waste, and it looks like the chemical mutagen they. It's weird that he raises his arms like that. Well, that's it. Uh, which one? Yeah. Right? We just replicate this chemical mutagen. And, sir. I yeah, that animation's weird. Our chief scientist defected to the Republic. Thank you very much, Sly. I am flattered by your kind words. <coughs> Bless you. I guess we need to undefect. There you go. Undefect indeed. <laughs> you certainly have a way with words, Sif. The scientist's name is Yanis Tirek. Tirek? He's still uh, on hmm. Almora, in a Republic research base out in the toxic lakes. Same. All right, Sif. It looks like you have your next objective. You find this scientist, you yeah, subdue him, suspect I've my been... men will bring him back, and we'll get you your same. chance to swim in toxic waste. The Republic's going to taste blood tonight. Oh, and Sif, bit some thunder. Back. Everyone, free money! And is on his way to Balmora. I don't want you to. <laughs> free money! Free money! Excellent. Excellent. Right yes, now, I just need to do my my class mission here, and I'll link up with you again. Ooh, force camouflage. This way. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice Ooh. Another 10 from Thunder. Did anyone see that Melotaku emote star made out of a Gmod shit post I did in the VIP server? Hmm. No. Welcome back. I take it everything went well, and the Okada droid factory is running smoothly? And what about Zalia? I trust that Slicer won't be a problem. What Slicer, Lieutenant Major? Ah, yes. What Slicer, indeed. The Admiral will soon see my worth. Master. Whoa. You know, if she's a, oh. if she's some oh, sort of minor slave... Oh, I didn't realize you guys were watching. If Mugir is some sort of minor slave, why is she carrying a blaster? Eh, uh, or... Oh. All the all the NPCs carry weapons now, unfortunately. Uh, no, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, most of them tend to. No, mo only the one. No, the thing is, she's an old. She's an OG NPC. She's from vanilla. They didn't change any of the character models. Great. In fact, most of the NPCs walk around on the street. Just look at these ones here on the street. They're not. We they're not carrying them. Only the actual. Uh, only the only the military force is carrying them. Settlers, I mean, settlers and people in war zones carry them. Like NPCs in war zones and settlers carry them. But that, if you remember, that guy Toybox wasn't carrying a blaster, for example. Oh yeah, and these that, that, these that guys aren't crazy. holding weapons. <laughs> Melon taco. Mm. That's yeah. Hilarious. 
Wait, so, what? Yeah, that, that, that's, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah. Mr. Yeah, Mercy, I think you've gotten your first clue that something might be amiss. Well, I played the, the story mission, the class mission before, but... Yeah, I know, yeah. but that was the thing. That's the first clue. Right. That, the, your first clue that something is amiss is the fact that why would a slave be carrying a blaster? Mm, yeah, good boy. And where to now? Uh, apparently Gorinth Canyon. Alright. We don't have the fast travel or the, uh... Um... Taxi, so we have to go on foot. We gotta hoof it! Oh, speeder. Rachel Hackman oh, with five dollars. Wondershell, you forced my hand. Shadow, hope that back station don't inflate that arm. Whooping cough can attest to that. And the heat in my state of the hundreds. Hope you'll be hundred percent yourself. May the force be with you. Well, thank you very much, Rachel. I appreciate that. Um, Adam. <laughs> huh? Right away. I don't know. <laughs> well, I know the lift thought... to the outpost is up there. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Bit of a dangerous method. Yeah, if, well, we, could yeah, if we took the speeder, it. we if we took yeah, the speeder, we, we could have gone straight there. Yeah, if we took the speeder, but I don't know if we have it. The speeder's not. The speeder doesn't take you there; it just takes you close to there. Mm -hmm. It only takes you to Troida, and even then, it's, like... it's still quite away because you gotta go around. Yeah, it's still quite a distance away because you still have to do the whole distance there. To the left, so it's like. Eh. Until we actually sometimes. unlock the outpost itself, we can't actually use the speeders. Yeah, them's the brakes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the reason it gives you the entire—I don't even know why it unlocks the entirety of the drama car speeders, honestly. Yeah, Rachel, you're fine. I appreciate the words and the donation, regardless. So thank you. Says, who got the jetpack in the game? I do. Mercy. Really now, yeah. Mercy. Yeah, you've only got that. You've got that jetpack. It's not the jetpack. I also got a tank. <clears throat> That's not a tank. That's a. Like Balmoris. That's a single tripleural platform. Like much does it? Yeah, an attack platform. Yeah. As war zones go, it's not so bad. Hmm. And you haven't been here long enough. Resistance stealth troops have been infiltrating Imperial outposts, making quick strikes and leaving no trace. The Empire says they can't be beaten. I say they can. This guy's not. This guy's a local, by the way. It's probably what you're wondering about his boys. How would you know how to beat them? You don't see them until they kill you. That's what they say. But I built the tech they use to keep hidden. Hmm. Their camp's in the Gorinth Wilds, but hmm. they've surrounded it with mines to keep strangers out. Watch your step, and you can use this device to detect the stealth fighters. <sighs> They're fast, though. If I may offer advice, strike quick and hard. Ah. Ooh, finally. New belt. Let's see. I love this bit. Right, appar apparently Shad's class mission is right back in the fields. Again. Disguises. Uh, mm. All right, we have to scan the area. Yeah. Oh, I got some. Yep, there oh. they are behind us. Ah. Those stealth troopers are spies. Uh, yeah. Stealth troopers they... are spy. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are spies. Why would they have stealth? No, why would they have stealth? Good spy hides in plain sight. Yep. No, good spy doesn't need to hide. Aha! Oh. Yep. Found one. Found three. Yeah, it's always free. And if and I, and if I remember, if I remember right, there's one down here too. The sea. 
Nope, I didn't find anything. Yeah, it's randomized. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I got someone. Uh oh, chef. Oh, yep, that ah. it. Oh, we have an army. That's war for you. Lovely. That's all we got. That's all she wrote. Oh, there's one of my favorite lines in the game coming up. Oh. What's that? In uh, one of the in one of the next planet quests, it's a bone about um. <clears throat> Well, it's about it's about rebels and blastocytes, along with sunrises. No more surprise attacks. Good. Captain Rigel was on holo. He wants a word with you. I asked you to do a job, and you sure outdid yourselves. We'll all have medals by the end of this one. Word is the former Balmoran Minister of Defense, Von Argen, might come down to Balmora. He's playing right oh, into our hands. I hope he does show up. I'll kill him. I hope so too. Now that the wilds are secured, we're ready for the final Shit. push. Colonel Vrain, head of the Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps, has come to oversee the action. He's at the Sundari outpost, in striking distance of the Resistance's main base. It's now or never. There's a question out there by. All right, well. Which one is that quest? Uh, no, yeah, there's one over here. If you mean N4, uh, N401, that's the uh, flashpoint. No. Notice, uh, where, where? All right, anyway. Ah, oh, dang. Oh yeah, it's the heroic. Yeah, that's a heroic mission. Yep. I mean, the heroics uh, tend to be quite soloable now, but yeah. Originally, they weren't. Yeah, they originally. Yeah, they, orig they were, having a group was a hard requirement. Yeah, pretty unless much back in the day. The, yeah, uh, unless you severely outleveled the quest, it was like a hard requirement. Now they're just like a way of getting some extra credits. Or grinding to a high level if you intend to do something that's like. Yeah, nowadays they're all. If you're at max level, they are mainly only viable to get her alliance crates. All credits. Yeah, all credits too. Oh, got another email. What the hell? Oh, I got a mail. Uh, could be, could be from one of the in-game. Missions. Yeah, I'm sure it's one of the end game missions. Yeah, this one, this one will. I'm getting the thing. This is probably the. Um, yep. This might be yep, the um, follow up. Yep. Uh, so cool. Yep, it is. We're on eight credits. Not bad. I mean, if you just want to do the heroic mission, I I wouldn't object to it. Hmm. Nah, there's no point. The heroics in Bamora are literally just complete ass. She's like anything else on this. Yeah, the, it's it's the five star of, like, one. Quality of the mission or just they get very dull very fast. They're not. I mean, they're more. They were more about challenge at the time. Like they were more about being challenging. They don't add anything to the story. The heroic is literally just a repeatable daily mission, so you can get uh, so you can get repeatable rewards. They became more of an end game thing. They turned them into more of an end game thing, so you can just like do them on every planet, so you can get so you can just get a bunch of credits and leveling up for your alliance stuff. Yeah, and if you're and if you're subscribed before you max up to level sixty, you can get some decent tier gear. Like I said, decent, not top tier. I wasn't actually implying that part. I meant more the fact that that only really happens if you're doing it like... 
on the actual planet itself rather than for the activity browser. If you do it for the if you do the queue for heroics for the activity browser, for example, you won't get the gear. You have to actually queue up from the quest giver on the planet. Oh. Just, yeah, I, that's I how so. you do it? I think. I mainly I just do I mainly just do it at the mission vendor and the fleet and just select whichever missions I want. Take what the take the holo trip and then bam. What the hell? Resistance to remote holo? Hmm? You're fine, Hannah. The guy's gone. Dang it. We went dang it. Oh, but yeah, the um, oh. originally with the heroics, they actually had a full they had a full interaction for when you closed off the mission, just like any normal mission. Yeah, that's the one but, downside of the changes. Not really, because they did that to cut space, and there was no reason to actually turn it in. I mean, it was a repeatable mission, so there was no reason to really have the closing dialogue for the mission. Because you'd be hearing it every single time you did the mission anyway, it's like, well... Let's hear the congratulations, and let's... Oh, hang on, hang on, let me... Let me oh. Because... Oh damn it! He didn't die. He moved right. before. Did you what happened? That's why I said during the last stream you never throw them off a cliff unless it's a bottomless pit. Ah, uh, it was just the angling was off. No, he, he landed. Have died. At... Even if he landed at the bottom, he wouldn't have died. Believe me, I've tried. I've tried from up here. It does not work. Ah. Uh. And he's a strong enemy. Strong enemies usually survive fall damage. If he was a storm, if he was a normal weak, I would have definitely said to go for it. But this is a guy is a resistance field commander. They have the ability to heal themselves anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, the healer enemies are really annoying if you can't kill them quickly enough. No, they're not quite here. So you see we those weird here? green flags there? Uh, yeah, the green flags. Yeah, those weird kind of green flags with the red stripe down them. That means that on that essentially means that this was the uh, well on in, on Republic Balmora, these flags will be replaced with Imperial flags Wait. because I think the Empire take control of the space on Republic Balmora. Oh then. Oh yeah, because Balmo for Balmora, the Imperial players visit it first. And yeah, in Act and One, whereas yeah, chronologically, ha yeah, chronologically speaking, the Empire, the Empire story, the Empire story arc happens on Barmora. Then, while that's happening, the Republic story arc is happening on Taurus. Later on, down the, I think during Chapter Two, the Imperials take Taurus and the Republic takes Barmora, and both factions undo all the hard work the other faction did earlier on in chronological in that chronological timeline. So basically, as a Republic player on Balmora, you're undoing all the hard work you did on Balmora. As Just like how on the Empire on Taris, you're undoing all the Republic's work. Yeah. Yep. Like, all the rebuilding the Republic do on Taris early on in the Republic questline and the Republic planetary quests, the Empire comes along and does it all. In the end, I think the Republic eventually end up keeping Taurus, uh, keeping Balmora, and the Empire completely just like makes Taurus completely inhospitable, near enough inhospitable again. Oilers. Yeah, I mean, come on. We already said that we undid the we undid, we undid you undid all the work. Yeah, true. Since you already really, brought, it, brought up Act yeah, One, Taurus. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of obvious that that would happen yeah, anyway. Like, you undo- we already said outside. you don't do all the I'm work. Oh, come on, Six, throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will ya? Fine, fine, stay clear. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me. Nothing. Hey, these voices sound eerily familiar. They probably- they probably are. Alright, 
In fact, the guy that voiced Bumblebee in Transformers Animated is an in this. Agent. What did you say? Character. Your dad is a what? Yes, please repeat that, Junior. Oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. He's going to need a new pair of pants. Who cares what Dermot needs? You gave me enough time to get what I need. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest looks like. Two squads I've seen of the better. Finest. Yeah, I've seen better. <laughs> yeah, two no, squads of the Republic's finest, like blaster fodder to me. Finally, a fight worthy of me. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. All right then. Overcompetent jackass. Oh, oh damn it! It froze me. Yikes! Got me too. There we go. <laughs> Hello, boy. Six. Six. You want to talk to me, Six? Get up, man. Yeah, he's not going to be able to speak anymore. Six can't hear you, and getting up is a bit beyond his skill set right now. And I'm next, right? Please, please, I, I know why you're here. The, the Republic. The Republic's investigating my dad, and, and an agent's coming to put the screws to me. But I won't break. I promise. L let me live. My, my dad's secret is safe with me. I'm, I'm a rock. You literally blapped it out to that officer before we killed him. Fine, you're, you're an idiot. If it'll save me, I'll, I'll think whatever you want me to. My father's done so much for the Empire. Look, may, maybe the apple fell off the tree. I, kind of far from the tree, but it's still... Look, the apple's still... Look, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that. Please, please don't kill me. I hate it when they beg. I'm putting you out of my misery. But who will put me out of my misery? Uh, yes. uh, 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 I find your lack of intelligence disturbing. Well, he insulted mine, so he was going to die no matter what. <laughs> and I think we just got to get out of here now. Yeah, time to yeah, fail. He was, he was panicking, and he was taking what you said very literal. We is O U T out of here. Hmm. Actually, you guys want to hear my favorite part about Bamora? What? What's that? Leaving. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Did you guys really expect me to say anything else? Bamora is a horrible planet. I mean, okay, Republic Bamora is slightly more interesting, as is Imperial Taurus. But they're just kind of, you know, drab. Yeah, I can say the not, same for Hoth. I mean, Hoth, it's not as bad. Like, I'm actually happy you're doing the heroics there, but Balmora is just kind of a slog, you know? I just need to remember how we're going to get to our class mission, Stormy. We, uh... Where do we go? Oh, I can show yeah. you. That is indeed very funny. Oh, I can show you the way to the last mission. I remember the way. One person tries to make you a Gundam Storm Warden meme. If it dies. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I am leveling up again. Yeah, you will be. If your XP bar is green, that means you've got rest XP. So. XP bar turns yellow again, that means you run out of rest, rest XP, but rest XP does stack with an XP booster. Alright, I need to put one of those on. Uh, rest XP won't, however, stack with a double, a double XP weekend XP. 
I see. Since it gets frozen on those kind of instances. This way. Oh, ball and storming. Best to knock this one out of the park first because it's out of the way. Apparently it should be. It's a long walk. Let's see how the victory is that way. Let me just uh, do a bit of orienteering. I think it should be. Looks like yeah, it should be around. Here, gotta make some dinner for the fam. And no worries. Care, then. Good luck. Okay, so it should be. What have I actually done there? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. There's a bit of a shortcut. Huh? Oh, just. Be, care be careful yeah, when you be... land, though. And if you take too much damage, immediately try to activate your cooldown. Because if you fall, if you take too much falling damage, well, it will kill you. Oh. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a shortcut, but it's a bit of a risky one. Oh, well, thankfully right, it right. paid off for me this one. Yep. Ten, ten bits and top ace. There is no Ugandan means, there is only men lowering you. This is the way. I'll give you that. I'll... <laughs> I'll also give you a cold up. I'll be honest. I'll also give you what's. I'll also know. Give you. Give you what's known as a Glasgow kiss or a. Or a Manchester kiss or a. Man, as the Mandalorians call a cold up kiss, which is a headbutt. Oh great! More great bugs. more bugs. Oh, and the tunnelers too. Those ones are especially annoying. Yeah, it still could be worse. One of the most annoying things about the game before they fixed it, with uh, letting someone into your class quest, if they were the same class as you, there used to be a bug, like a really, really annoying, like really game-breaking bug, where if you tried to help someone complete their bonus objectives, it wouldn't carry over. Like, if you were on the same class quest, if, you, if they had a bonus objective, it wouldn't carry over unless they were the one who triggered it. Like an interactable bonus. Kills still count. As long as they, the owner of the phase gets the first kill, the rest of the kills still count. But like I say, Sabbath yep, there we go. Example, is an Imperial Agent didn't carry over if you were a bounty hunter. Is that all we had to do? Oh, that's right. quick. Oh. And here comes some more! Ah! Queen's Guard, oh no. I got a bad feeling about this. Level 32. Oh, yeah. Fire the wrist rockets! Yeah, the ones that'll show up after you kill Queen's Guard. Woo! Level 30! Level 31. And here comes the queen! And oh, that's wait, never my mind. best hit. guards. Jesus. Yeah, it's a wave based on this. Oh, jeez, I've realized I've been firing too many wrist rockets. Okay, now it's the queen. Door late. Sure. Well, it's coming. It is. There it there is. There she is. Ow! Dude. What the heck does she do to me? Probably spat in your face. She's about to spit my Oh, glass. damn it! Uh, what part of Belmore are we on? Uh, uh we're in a Cogger of Queen's Nest currently. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, wait, Storm, for... wait, Stormy! It says that you're still in need to do it yourself. Yeah, it says. I do it's... need to do it. I'm in. I'm in your phase, remember? I can't do it. All oh, right. Phase. Oh, okay. R right. Hang phase. on. I'll pop out and then. Mm -mm, I'll I pop out. The... I I have to exit the phase myself, Mercy. 
Ah, okay. It'll still count as your phase until we exit. And I, we, right. what happens is like we all exit, then it, we come back in for mine. Yep. Right. Gotcha. Back to technically. Yeah, here we go. I create my phase now. Oh wait, it says still mine. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. You just, just join. Yeah, you have to join manually. Okay. Time for round manual. two. Yep. Once everyone exits. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, why are we in combat? Hey. Who went to? Damn it, guys! I can't get down. Get out of combat. I can't get down there. Not out of phase. What are you guys doing charging ahead? We can't get down there and complete the quest if you charge into combat. Who's charging in like a fool? Well, I found Adam already fighting the bugs down there in the lift. I thought y'all were already down here. Adam? Yeah, Do that uh, again, I will shoot you in the face. I thought you were already in here. Sorry. In fact, no, I'm not just going to shoot you in the face. I'll shoot you in the face with this. Oh, I'm sorry. With this. Yeah, I'm sure I still survive. It's a shatter slug. Hey, it's a high impact complete. slug that quite literally turns into shrapnel upon impact. On two. Uh, so ugly. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Shad's not a fan of bugs. Never am I. <laughs> Did I not say earlier that this the screeching of these things reminds me of nails on the chalkboard? Oh, I thought you were just referring to the yeah. colocoids, not bugs in general. I meant the I meant, I meant the, the, the noise of the colocoids, yeah, but they do good. I'm not trying to bug in general. Ugh. Primarily spiders in my case, but I'm not really a fan of them. Like, honestly, like, things like wasps or anything like with Scott Stinger, absolutely not that one. Oh. Ah, I got got chest armor. Very nice. And here comes the queen. Alright, fusion missile! Oh come on! Why does it keep just stunning me? I keep getting aggro. I guess I can't throw her in a threat apparently. Or whatever, I don't actually have my ability. It's just odd that it targeted me and I hadn't even attacked the queen yet. Yeah, you're a merc. You're a mercenary. I mean, dude, you're a mercenary. Come on. Oh, we so both pass know, we, we to both aggro. know. Yeah, we both know that mercenaries get so much passive. Get, get the, always get the short end of the stick. Oof. Yeah, come on. The, the number of times I've been in. I mean. The number of mercenaries I've played, and the fact that I always get absolutely shafted by the game when it comes to aggro. DPS or healer, the game will try to absolutely screw you over. Right, so... Yeah, figure um, out where we go next. Try to multi-workshop yeah, shards. Actually. I'm thinking of wrapping this up, because I'm actually, you know, near my cutoff point here, so... Mm. Uh, oh. separate container then? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. Sunken like. Sir Lack Cantina.
I'll say this: when we get to Nashadar, the Slippery Slopes Cantina is a is a generally it's a roleplay hotspot. If there's any roleplays in there, at least. Hmm. Because it's a neutral, it's one of the few neutral locations in the game. It's a decent hotspot for roleplayers. Interesting. I mean, players of nearly all levels can get to it as long as they have a ship. And it's not. I mean, Voss is one of the only other locations from vanilla that had good here. Uh, that was neutral and, and Voss wasn't really the best place to hang out for all players. Hmm. I think I actually saw I witnessed a I actually witnessed a bar fight in there once. Really? Full on RP yeah I once actually witnessed a full on RP bar fight. And the next yeah. day a a guild had sprung up called Cartel oh, Security. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking bar. It's amazing what players of games like this can really do. Indeed. But yeah, I'm erring to call it quits tonight, because you know, we've been going for almost two and a half hours now. Yep. But honestly, that was pretty fun. It really was. Indeed, some good old-fashioned bug hunting. <laughs> and they don't spill acid blood, which is an extra bonus. Thank God for that. But that shall indeed do it. So, <laughs> thanks everybody for coming around for the love, the support, and everything. Have a good night. Stay awesome, and I shall see you all next time. See you guys. See ya. <laughs>